today we're reviewing the Janome 725S, the sewing machine used on the Great British Sewing Bee 2019. It's also our best selling mechanical machine and that's because it's brilliant for beginners, very easy to use, but it also has the features so that you can grow into the machine as your sewing experience develops. Here at Sew Essential, we're a Janome authorised dealer, so when you buy from us, you buy with the confidence that we are experts in these machines. We're here for the support that you might need before and after the sale. We stock the full range of Janome machines and all the accessories to go with them. You can find all of these on our website and the link to that's below. So today in the video, I'm going to show you what you get when you buy one of these machines from us. I'll give you a walk round of the different features on the machine. I'll show you how to thread it and how to use it. So let's just start by having a look when you, what you get when you buy one of these machines. So first things first, the machine is a Mia 6.7 kilos, so that means it's nice and lightweight, it's great for classes and it's nice and portable if you need to move it around the home as well. You also get a hard case with it which protects it when it's in storage or when you do need to move it around. You get a comprehensive instruction booklet full of step-by-step -step instructions of how to do everything you might want to do with the machine and you also get the electronic foot control. I'm going to now show you in more detail the additional accessories that come with the machine and then give you a little walk around the machine itself. Inside the box you'll find a packet of needles, four bobbins, the standard presser foot, the overcasting foot, the zipper foot, the blind hem foot, the button foot, the one step buttonhole foot, the quilting guide, a felt pad, a spool cap, a spare spool pin, a screwdriver, seam ripper, and brush for cleaning. On the machine you'll see a stitch reference chart, the stitch selector, the stitch length dial, stitch width dial, reverse stitch lever, hand wheel, power supply and power switch. Thread tension dial, top loading bobbin, the needle threader, the needle plate with seam allowance guides, the LED light, the accessory tray, the thread cutter and the buttonhole lever. On top of the machine the bobbin winder, the spool pin, the hole for the spare spool pin, the thread path for threading the needle and the carry handle. At the back of the machine the foot lifter, the presser foot pressure dial, the removable extension table which allows you to use the machine for free arm sewing which is great for tubular items such as cuffs and sleeves and the switch for dropping the feed dogs. The great thing about the Janome 725S is how easy it is to use, so I'm going to show you now how simple it is to thread. We'll start by winding the bobbin. Place the thread on the spool pin and attach the spool cap. Take the end of the thread and feed it round the bobbin winding thread guide. Feed the end of the thread through the hole in the top of one of the bobbins and pull it through the other side. Slide the bobbin onto the bobbin winding spindle and click it into place. Then hold the end of the thread and put your foot down on the foot control which will start to wind the bobbin. Snip the end of the thread once you've got a good amount of thread on the bobbin. Then continue to wind it by pressing your foot back down on the foot control and hold it there until the bobbin is full. Once it's full, remove it from the spindle and cut the thread and you're ready to place it in the bobbin case. On the hook cover plate you'll see the direction to thread the bobbin. Remove the cover, 
take your bobbin with the thread coming down the left hand side of the bobbin then slot it into the case making sure it goes through the notch at the front pulling it up to the left so that it goes through the notch at the side and replace the cover. For threading the needle it's very important to make sure the foot is up and you'll also need to bring the take-up lever up by rotating the hand wheel towards you. Once the take-up lever is visible pull the thread towards you and feed it through the numbered thread guides ensuring it slots through the take-up lever from right to left. Raise the needle to its highest position by turning the hand wheel. Bring the thread down and pass it behind the final thread guide which is located at the top of the needle bar. Bring the needle threader down and pass the thread under the guides then gently release the lever to pull the thread through. Pull the remaining thread through manually then pass the thread underneath the foot. Now you need to bring the bobbin thread up, hold the end of the needle thread Turn the hand wheel one full rotation towards you, then draw the needle thread towards you, pulling on it to bring the bobbin thread up. Pull the remaining bobbin thread through by hand, untangle the needle and bobbin thread if necessary, and then pass both threads underneath the foot and towards the back of the machine. So now we're ready to start sewing. I'm going to show you some of the stitches and how easy it is to select them. Place your fabric under the foot, making sure you've attached the right foot. Lower the foot, then choose the letter that corresponds to your chosen stitch on the chart. Adjust the length if necessary and adjust the width if necessary. Then put your foot down on the control and start to sew. When you reach the end of a line of stitching, you can reverse, which secures the stitches. Lift the foot and remove the fabric using the thread cutter to cut the threads. I'll now show you a zigzag stitch. Place the foot down on the fabric, select the relevant letter, adjust the width and the length if necessary then start to sew and notice how lovely and quiet this machine is. Lift the needle if it finishes in the fabric to release the fabric and cut the threads. I'll show you one last stitch from the standard menu, a decorative stitch. So I'm going to lower the foot again, select the corresponding letter to the chart, adjust the length and the width and sew. And you can see just how simple and easy to use it is and how easily you can get started. The stitches highlighted in black are stretch stitches for stretch fabrics. To choose one of these, turn the length dial to SS. Adjust the stitch selector for your chosen stitch. Adjust the width if necessary tension if necessary and ensure you've attached the right foot. Information on all of this is in the manual for every stitch. Place your fabric under the foot and in the same way as for the standard stitches start to sew by pressing your foot on the foot control. Remove the fabric in the same way and you can see it's just as straightforward to sew the stretch stitches as the standard stitches. I'm going to do another stretch stitch now so I'll put my foot down, choose the relevant stitch. I've still got the length on SS and I'm going to continue stitching. And you can see in just a matter of minutes, I've demonstrated five stitches for you, showing you how easy this machine is to use. One of the key features I wanted to highlight is the one step buttonhole. This doesn't come as standard on all machines, but it makes sewing buttonholes so much easier. This is the one step buttonhole foot, designed to measure the button and create the right size buttonhole in one step. Firstly, you'll need to remove the standard foot. Press the button at the back of the foot holder and release the foot, moving it out of the way. Take the one step buttonhole foot, 
and insert your chosen button into the back of the foot, sliding it down so that it fits snugly and this will allow the machine to create the right size buttonhole. Take the needle thread and insert it through the hole at the front of the foot. I find it easier to do it that way than after the foot's been attached. Slide the foot under the foot holder, use the foot lifter to raise the foot holder, then drop it back down onto the foot to secure it. Check that it's attached, then bring the buttonhole lever down at the back of the machine. Raise the foot, move the threads out of the way and select the buttonhole stitch with your stitch selector. Place the fabric under the foot in the correct position. Lower the foot and start stitching. The buttonhole will stitch out in one simple step so there's no need to stop and start between sides. You do need to stop stitching when you reach the end of the buttonhole. Remove the fabric from the foot and use the thread cutter and you've created the perfect size buttonhole for your button. Okay, so we've just had a look at the one step buttonhole foot. Now let's have a look at the other accessories included. The zipper foot allows you to apply zips by getting nice and close to the teeth, but it's also incredibly useful for piping. The blind hem foot allows you to sew a hem, which is barely visible. The button foot allows you to apply buttons without the need for any hand stitching or to create buttonholes wider than an inch. The overcasting or over edging foot allows you to finish those seams nice and neatly. And finally, the quilting guide allows you to create perfectly parallel lines of stitching. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there's also a whole host of other accessories you can buy to go with the machine that help you to grow into it and grows with you as your skills develop. These are available to buy on our site and the link is below. It's a category B machine, so you need to look for accessories that are for category B. All of that information is available on our website and I've just picked out a couple of my favourites which I find most useful. The walking foot is designed to feed the layers of fabric through the machine evenly. So it's great for things like patchwork and quilting when you're working with multiple layers of fabric or for dressmaking when you're working with some of those trickier fabrics. The darning foot is used for free motion embroidery and stippling. So you drop the feed dogs on the sewing machine and it allows you to draw effectively with your sewing machine and create the designs you want to freehand. So that's a really fun feature. The Janome 725S is covered by the comprehensive Sew Essential two year warranty. You can find full details of this in a link below. So just to summarise, it's a fantastic machine for beginners because it's so easy to use, but it's also got a lovely range of features and the capability for you to develop your sewing skills way beyond beginner status at such a great price point. It's suitable for a wide range of projects, including dressmaking, patchwork and quilting and home deck projects. So there's no wonder that this was the sewing machine of choice for the Great British Sewing Bee. It's a lovely sturdy machine, it's reliable, it's nice and quiet, it's portable and it's available to buy on our site, the links below. I hope you've enjoyed that and thanks for watching.